Hi everyone, welcome to Hectanooga One. I'm going to work with these two colors so that you can see what I'm doing. If I use black, you can't see my stitches. And I'm working with worsted white yarn and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm going to do the demo in baby size, and so I have chained 38. Slip stitch to join, being careful not to twist the chain. And I'm going to chain two, and I'm going to double crochet in each stitch around. To make a double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert the hook through the stitch, pick up the yarn, pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, Pick up the yarn, pull it through two. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to work all the way around. When I get back here, I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. Okay, I've worked all the way around. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. And I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to alternate front post double crochet, double crochet, all the way around. To do a front post double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert from the front, of the post of the double crochet of the previous row and complete the double crochet and a regular double crochet. And I'm going to repeat that all the way across the row. Okay, I worked all the way around, and you should end with a front post because this is the equivalent of the regular double crochet. And I'm going to slip stitch to join. So there's how that looks. I'm going to do one more row in gray, and then I'll change to a different color. So I'm going to chain two. I'm going to make a front post double crochet and a regular double crochet in the next stitch. And you can tell which is the front post because they protrude. So front post, double crochet, and a regular double crochet. Repeat that all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around and I ended with a front post and there's my chain two. And I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. And that's how that looks. You can see the ridges. Now I'm going to pull in another color. So I simply pull that in through the last stitch worked. Lock it in by taking one stitch with both the yarn end and the working yarn. Pull on the gray just to tighten that up. And I take one additional chain stitch to be equivalent to my first double crochet. And then I'm going to just continue doing front post double crochet, regular double crochet, front post double crochet, and a regular double crochet. I'm going to repeat all the way around. I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. And I'm going to go ahead and work as many rows as I need. And here are the number of rows for each size. Okay, I'm working baby size and I'm fastening off with a long yarn end. Thread the yarn end into a yarn needle. And then you can weave through every second stitch across the top. Now you can just pull to gather up and close up the top of the hat and take a few stitches to secure that. Like that. Then weave the yarn back into the finished work. Put that yarn off. And I'll show you how to make the pom-pom. So I just have a piece of cardboard here. And I'm going to wind my yarn around the cardboard quite a few times. Okay, so I've wound it around. And I'm just going to go from this side. Pass my yarn underneath that bundle. And I'm going to tie a surgeon's knot here, which is just two times twisted. 
I'm going to give it a good tight pull. And now I'm going to slide the cardboard out. I'm going to take those two sections and bring them around. Again, tie a surgeon's knot. All right, good and tight. And I'm going to cut open the loops. Like that. Fluff it up. And then I'm just going to trim it so that it's nice and round. Like that. I can use these yarn ends to attach the pom-pom to the top of the hat. And there you go. There's a cute little hat that you can make. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.